In today's installment, we'll be using the C6 tuning C, E, G, A, C, and E. Let's play up here on the 7th fret. That'll be the key of G. Let's start with the diminished sound. Your low note will be on string 4, fret 7. And then the next two notes are going to be on fret 8, strings 2 and 3. It'll sound like... Let's do it again. One more time. The same rules apply when we do these forward slants. Your low note, we try to play that the same pitch exactly when we make our move and hopefully not alter that pitch. So you really want to pay attention to that low note. Now coming in up here, we will be playing both of these upper notes on the round part of the bar. This middle note, the round part, is right over the top of the fret, so it's kind of pushed forward. And then we tune that to the lower pitch. And then this outer note is just past where the bar's center point is, and it starts to go back around. But it's not very far past it, so the, the nose is way up on the fret line here. Let's try to get this one. that's a pretty pretty steep angle there and again for your vibrato you kind of roll it you don't need much these are the chords that you can invert every three frets slide them Yeah, you got to squeeze them a little bit when we bring them in. And it's just like all the others. When you're coming in on your move, you want to end right exactly where it sounds good. And that's what you practice during your practice. And that's the hardest part. So you got it pretty in tune here and then you're going to slide it so your goal is when you hit you're in tune Let's move on to the augmented sound. It's basically the same exact thing, except now we're going to be on strings 3, 2, and 1. It's a really nice sound. The augmenteds work just like the diminished, and they play just like the diminished. You're on strings 3, 2, 1. And then we come up here one fret ahead on the upper notes. But it's the same basic angle as we did before, a sharp angle, the flat, both on the round, slightly at the beginning of the round, and just past the center. You can slide them up three frets to invert them.
and you have to squeeze them in a little bit and you've got to land in tune. That's the whole secret to this forward slant stuff. Making sure that your final spot is where it's in tune. You can have some pretty cool sounds by releasing these back to the regular chord. Let's compare the diminished to the augmented. The augmenteds work exactly like the diminished. They invert every three frets. You got to squeeze it in a little bit when you get to this middle position. And again up to the higher notes. 